Welcome back. Well, Australia's inflation figures have slowed to 6% after a dozen rate hikes since May last year. So how do we stack up against the rest of the world? To explain, we're joined by today money expert Effie Zahos. Effie, good morning good to morning. you. This is interesting mm. because we can see how we're tracking and yeah. where we might yeah. be going, right? Uh, and it's all interrelated. What mm. happens overseas impacts us here. So yes, you're right, the inflation numbers were good. It was good to see that. And that's probably cement, you know, increased the chances of cementing in a double pause with the RBA rate hikes, um, keeping them on hold. But I hate to be a bit of a downer here. J the June quarter is uh, typically soft with numbers. Remember in July, prices go up. Electricity mm. prices go up. You know, tolls, everything goes up in July. So the RBA will be weighing that in. Also, we had the Fed last night increase their cash rate. And the RBA will be looking at that because there's a big gap between now what our cash rate is at, what, 4.1 versus theirs at 5.5. And that plays on currencies, that plays on their mind. So there's a lot of things the RBA is But why, why is up. the US... Yeah. Um, when their, their inflation has come down so dramatically to around 3%, why, why are they increasing? The we rate? didn't go up as much as the rest of the world. Um, yep. And so we are not falling as fast as they are. Their core inflation, their underlying inflation, when you take out all the volatile prices, that's still high. Mm. So there's, you know, some more rate hikes probably still in with the US. Mm. The UK is another story. That, that's doing it tough. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah. easy there. Canada as well, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we're all affected by one another and the RBA will be looking at all this when it uh, considers the rate hikes. All right, well, we know obviously this has lots of flow-on effects. How's it impacting groceries? Yeah, so looking at individual groceries, let's say we all like a bit of chicken, some egg, <laughs> how do we compare? We know with inflation prices in Australia, annually it was 7.5, but the eggs have been pretty hard hit in Australia. And we're actually paying, you know, top notch up here. Mm. You know, we're up there with uh, New Zealand. Um, well, they had those egg issues. Yeah. Yes. Egg issues. Yeah. It didn't help. The UK here doesn't do it justice because it looks like it's quite affordable. Their income is a little bit lower than ours mm. as well, the average income. And in other prices, like UK sugar, oils, they're like 17%. They're still quite high even though they've fallen. And win and win a chicken dinner, not really. <laughs> no, no one's <laughs> winning there, Carl. No, oh. absolutely not. All right, so, so you think, um, uh, given all that, I mean, it's the, uh, some of these goods are coming down. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that seems to be on the right path, but services, yeah. not so much. And this is the thing, another thing that the RBA has got to consider. So we've got price inflation, and that was a lot driven by the, the cost of supply. That's kind of subsided a little bit. But service inflation, going to the hairdresser, going to dinner, mm. that has increased. That's normally driven by wages. You could argue wages aren't up as much, but because our productivity is down, the unit labour price has gone up. That is a problem that our service inflation is so high. But going to, to food, I mean, like I said, before 7.5 is the annual increase in food. The dairy products, the, your cheeses, your breads, look wow. at that, it's crazy. Yeah, 16%. Crazy. In my household, we love our lamb, we love our goat, we love our beef, so goat. we're doing fine. <laughs> One goat. Greatest. Greatest. <laughs> They've all gone down. So, what does this mean, like, for rate hikes? Oh, I, I think, you know, the mm. governor will probably want to do one more rate hike before Michelle gets in. All right. Mm. Good on you, Effie. Thank you so much. And tomorrow, Effie's cooking goat curry. <laughs> yes. It's 8 o'clock on today. <laughs> Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?